The next house boat we're going to look at is right here. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. great, Roy. This boat here. How convenient. Okay. It's a nice Man, this boat's got some size to it. There's two bedrooms and two baths on the first floor of this houseboat and a third bedroom up the outdoor stairs. The size of the playhouse was huge. Look at it. It looks like it'd be perfect for our big family. I'm anxious to see what the inside looks like. Can we take a look? Yes, let's take a look. Great. Good. The wow. playhouse. Is this a husband house or a couple house? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, look how huge and open it is in here. But even with all this space, the kitchen setup might not be ideal. The refrigerator's not in the right place. It needs to be close to the stove. It all needs to be together. And we're working in one area. Layout aside, it can hold enough gas and water on board to keep Marvin cooking out at sea for at least a week. I think you're going to really like to see what's on the other side of that door. Wow. Wow, Roy. Sure. Very nice. Yeah. Bunk room, if it's going to be a master bedroom, I don't know that we would necessarily keep that area that way, but I did like the size. It's real spacious. It is really nice that we have our own private bathroom. This houseboat also uses the same sewer treatment process as the last. And the second bedroom is just as big. This wow. This is a great size bedroom. You don't normally see rooms of this size in a houseboat. You could almost make two bedrooms. And you know what else? There's a very large bathroom connected to it. Wow. This is huge. Yeah, it is. What does this door lead to? Let's check and see. OK. All right. Inside, there's plenty of space. But outside, it's a different story. The deck of the boat is real small, real narrow. This narrow deck also holds the motor and the diesel generator for electricity. But well, that's kind of a small motor. That's the main concern Travel to purposes. me right here. We like to move a lot. The boat comes with a 130 horsepower motor, but Marvin's looking for at least 400 horsepower to move this two-story boat. He could upgrade, but a stronger motor would cost well over $10,000. Do you know what size generator it is? It's a 13 and a half kilowatt. This generator connects to a 250 gallon diesel tank that can keep heat, electricity, and water running on the boat for about 10 days. All I want to know is that I'm going to get electricity out of the situation. I'm not a girly girl, but I do like to have electricity, and this hair doesn't get like this without a flat iron.